All right, so in this video, what I want to do is to basically do some customization of our, uh, I want to do some customization of our dashboard here. Uh, what I initially was thinking of was to do a login simulation. I'm going to consider that if we have uh, time, but we're just going to do a bit of customization. Get rid of some of this. I'm going to leave uh, some of these like the clip on the, on the dark mode and put them somewhere in the middle up here at the top. Uh, yeah, so let's get into that right now. Uh, so I have this open, so I'm gonna go to the dashboard. And uh, basically all we need is right here. So everything we're gonna put right here on the toolbar. So this is our toolbar here. So I'm gonna add a speed spacer. And what I found that this thing is not giving me an autocomplete, and that is the importance of action. But with the actual HTML element, it is giving the autocomplete. So that's the importance of actually knowing this, the, the, the thing that you're using, knowing the code and all of that. So that was another reason why I was big on persons actually knowing the code uh, instead of just running to the framework. So yeah. So we're just gonna do a V row and uh, I think we gotta uh, do this because it's not in I don't know why it's not ending. I think it normally did, but I'm not sure. And we're gonna do a V column and the V column uh is what's gonna be within the row, so it's gonna go basically across. And I'm gonna copy these. I think we want about four of them, or five maybe. I think. Oh no! So all we're basically doing is just getting these. I'm gonna just cut them, and paste them. Before I do that, the other thing that I wanna do, I wanna do another spacer because I don't want them to be at basically at the end. I want them to be like in the middle. So that's the first one there. And uh, only the one that we actually need that I, I want, I want a clip as well. And uh, I'm gonna show you, you'll see what they all do because those are just the main ones that I actually want for this thing here. Just the main ones. Floating no the main this will have like a mini version of the of the uh the sidebar the jar and that will have that so if we want to just show the icons alone then we see that the footer one I'm gonna leave this but no I'm not sure if I'm gonna delete it afterwards but we're just gonna leave it so so that uh so that if we, we can move the footer in and out or extend it right across the page. So yeah, uh, I can leave all of this now so you can actually see, but I'm gonna clear them all out eventually. So let's see what this looks like. All right, so at the moment you can see that all of these are now at the top, so we can click here and we can get that that uh, dark theme, which I prefer. And uh, this clip is what I'm gonna have as true always because I want it to look something like this. And we can probably put like a, some tabs or whatever in here. The main is what gonna give us the icon looking thing, so we can only have icons here. And this inset is uh, for the footer. So you can have the footer going right across the page or just right here. This is gonna be false. I want it to be all across the page. The main, we're gonna leave it toggleable. And the clip, I'm gonna put that to true. I may leave all of these in here. I don't know, cause I like this, but I'm just gonna leave the, the, the card. And then when we need to do whatever else we can, do it so uh these buttons i'm gonna get rid of them uh i think i may leave the columns 
that it gives that 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 spacing or whatever. I don't want any of this. These radio buttons, I don't want any of them as well. I don't need any of those. This right here, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, I'll bring this up a bit. And uh, the scheme thing. The reason why I'm leaving the columns is because I think it, it will give it that big space that we have in there. So yeah. Uh, the footer, I may take this out. I think I'm gonna take this out and put it in a different uh, file. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much about it. Again, I said that I want this to be true. I'm gonna change this to true so that it's always clipped. Let's look at this now. All right, so that's that. So you can see the card is still there. This is now clipped, and uh, we can still toggle it if we want to. Uh, well, it's not clipped. Well, yeah, toggle level now. So, yeah. And the dark mode, we can still do that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I want this to be always true. And we can hide these if we want. We don't really necessarily have to have them, but just for my sake, I'm gonna leave them. This I may find somewhere, put it somewhere else. All right, so what do I wanna do next? And I may change these to to something that looks much better we can add here so yeah let me consider that uh i think that's that's about that uh, okay let's see now if we could uh i'm gonna change the footer out i'm gonna make a app footer uh, actually no i'm gonna leave this the reason why I'm gonna leave this is because this is basically the footer is just for the dashboard on a whole. So we can leave that. But what I what I what I could do is to show you how we can get something on on the actual jar. So let's get started with that. So to do that, what we have to do is to basically right in here we see navigate and jar uh all we have to do is just put the item there what i'm gonna do is to basically just put a list i'm gonna change this all up after is because these are support are going to be clickable and stuff so you can do a v list and then you can do a v list uh, close that out then here we can do a v list item and uh I really wish I had that auto complete now. Get this item, and uh, in here we can have something like a uh, dashboard. And I'm gonna just copy this and uh, do a second one. These are not going to be clickable at the moment, but I'm just doing this so we can have an idea of how we would actually add. Uh, so we can have like a settings and I'm gonna put a divider between these so if we put like a divider settings is normally like the, the last thing so let's all right so let's save this and look at it and see what it looks like All right, so as you can see here, uh, we have a set a dashboard and a setting tab here, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If we do the toggle, then I think, uh, not, the, not the toggle, the clip, see what that does. Should bring it up to the top. So probably would have something like the user up here, like the user 
uh, their image and their name and stuff and uh, then we can have dashboard under uh, whatever but this is pretty cool uh, and that's how we get to customize our dashboard I think in the next video we can look at uh, actually simulating that login process before we actually uh, do such so that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one